Our goal today is we're going to make it through the BMG tunnel through Jill's chamber and continue through the next generation tunnel. And there's a, a T where you can either go up and that seems to be a dead end called the stairway to heaven. But there, at that T there's also a line that goes just a little bit further into the deep section of the cave. And our goal is to make it back to that T and go to the deep end. We're going to be running back almost a mile at 320 feet. The runtime should be a little over four hours at an 80-90 gradient factor. One of our concerns is time, because we need to make it back to the BMG tunnel, which can be a little bit of a trick. Just to give you an idea of time, today's dive is a little over four hours and 45 minutes of bottom time. If we spend an extra 15 minutes, the dive turns into a six hour dive. Every minute counts on the way back, and when we say we're turning at 22 and a half minutes, we mean it. So we're setting off, moving through uh, the Guardia Passage. As we moved in through the first restriction and made it into the Wakula room, Tony was there filming. We had these new fantastic Caldan lights that really project more light than I've ever had before. With his lights and with my lights, I finally got a full feel of what the Wakula room was really about. You could see it from beginning to end. We made our way through the restriction. We finally came back up into Jill's chamber. As we make it through Jill's chamber, we start carrying through to the next generation tunnel. And we made it to what's called the T and at the end of the next generation tunnel. So we come into the T and, and you know, we're watching our times critically because of the deco obligations that we are incurring. We were fairly certain that the cave would continue on for some time and we'd be able to begin to lay some line for the first time. It started to slope up and it brought us up to somewhere around 250, 220 feet. As I made it to the very end of the line, I could see that that was kind of the end of the road. There was uh, no place else to go. At that point, we turned around and we moved our way back out through the cave again and completed our dive. Almost 50 minutes of bottom time and that was moving at top speed on the scooters all the way. So we made it back and finished off our decompression. There's a new restriction for us to make it through and we haven't found it yet. Now we know something that we didn't. We know that way is either to get any further is through a restriction there, which we're gonna have to spend more time looking around, or it really is going up through the stairway to heaven. It gives you a feeling of uh, being very special and that you're very privileged and lucky to be in here. Not that many people ever make it there. For me, that was my birthday. It was the best dive of my life, and I'm not sure how I'm going to be beat that dive. Stay tuned for more video from Ad Helium's exploration of the pit.